Today, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is united. East and West is connected. Because of the golden coordinator project brought by Arthur Yari Vajpayee. And don't forget, he not only brought the national highways, people forget. He also brought Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. That he said, I will connect the national area to the rural places. Again, Tamil Nadu is the highest beneficiary. Tamil Nadu is the highest beneficiary out of that project. You look at the NHA, NHA, NHAI, the Perimala to Madhavaram. That road, which was done in the period of record time within five years, my dear friends. After that, you cannot see that much development around the country. Right? And today, last five years also, hats off to Mr. Nitin Gadkari under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He delivered what he promised to the Prime Minister. The road projects were excellent. I am not saying this. Even opposition, one of the former finance ministers have said, he himself says, infrastructure has been developed in the last five years in an excellent way, especially roadways. He has told that it is a record. So somebody in opposition says, people have performed well. Government has performed well, right? So that is one thing. Railways, okay. Uh, roads over, aviation, you can see such certain changes. I don't deny many companies are going bankrupt. Not because purely because Jetta Airways and many companies have gone bankrupt because of high taxation. So the government has to look at the good infrastructure in the days to come for aviation industry. And they should also try to bring the aviation carbon fuel under the GST. As of now, it is taxed high. So maybe these kind of reforms to start with. You can find in the next few months because Jet Airways issue and Air India, of course, has raised concerns with the government how to bail them out, ensure that the airways takes off in the country. And one Prime Minister brought Udan scheme. Today, you see, when you want to travel from Chennai to Kadapa, my dear friends, you know what is the once I was discussing, one day I was planning to go to Kadapa. There's a temple, Lalita, uh, uh, Lalita Amma Temple, Lalita Deva Temple. So, Chinmay uh, organized a program. I wanted to go for that program to talk to the students. I said, I'll come by car. That Swamiji said, why are you come by, coming by car? Come by flight. I said, cut off a flight. I said, don't waste money, Swamiji. For information, if you come by car, you waste your money, you waste your energy, you are on the risk also. No, come by flight. I don't know, you booked and sent me the uh, ticket. I saw the ticket price 700 to cut off. So, coming back again 700. 1000 dollars over. Now, once uh, the I think it was Jayan uh, Sinha, one of the ministers said, when he made a statement, now the flight travel cost has reduced than your train. And this is exactly the uh, real picture we went before you. So aviation will see a lot of transformation, you will all benefit because of that. Railways requires a transformation. The British railways still, uh, British old time trains are still running. Right? And uh, those things have to be replaced. One model which uh, Mr. Piyush Goyal exhibited is Vande Bharat. Right? Don't believe all those uh, videos which you saw. Okay? So look at, go and travel in Mandir Bharat, experience the change. And you will understand what is the change. This railway transformation is important because railways is the nerve of the country, travel nerve of the country. The entire logistics industry thrives on the railways. And railways connects most of the villages in India. So we have to strengthen that to bring a village empowerment also. And energy, important. Many states today are power surplus. So for Gujarat, we need not even talk about this because Gujarat became powerless state to powerful state, not only politically, but also uh, excess power is today is there which is being supplied to many states. Is definitely a credit goes to Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. You know what is the solar project which he brought, and definitely these ideas will blossom around the country. Don't forget, he is not no more chief minister of Gujarat. Huh? You cannot take the ownership. The entire uh, the country will take ownership and I am sure he is going to bring the transformation. Startups, let me complete. Startups is another uh, one area which requires a concentration. India should become a startup nation and that is only possible by bringing the startup culture in the college. Today, what is startup? I am not getting a job. I am having an idea. I will do startup. I will try some business. What business? Real estate. That is not the way. You should bring innovation. You should bring a new thing. I, I, I know one woman from whom we buy a honey. She is working with the tribal community. And she is able to bring the honey from there, filter it, and then pack it and sell it. Natural honey. Leave the money she makes. That is different. She got mutra loan through that only she started this business. Leave that part. 
But look at who is getting empowered. The tribal people whose product was not marketable, today becomes marketable. This is the model that we need to bring in. These startups has to be brought as a culture. So, labor reforms, defense reforms, home affairs. You know in whose hands it is? Yeah, home, home ministry. Very important to cut, cut the funds of the anti-national forces in the nation. You know better. I don't want to discuss all those things. Where the fund comes from, which country the fund comes from, which tax haven the fund comes from, for what purpose it comes to, what is the hawala. These things are under control of the modern Chanakya. <laughs> right? And I'm sure this transformation. Already people are saying, before 2019 election, people are talking about religious divide. People are now talking about interfaith conferences. Global harmony conferences. Can you understand? So, the point is, why I'm doing this is, the Home Minister has a great role to play in the country's transformation, especially South India. is most affected now because of, you will understand, invasion is not only about coming and killing you, it is about systematic invasion. A century plan and that is now boiling in the south that is the reason you find so much of division divisional ideas coming from south which will be rectified in the days to come by the modern Chanakya. agriculture requires an attention rural development education science and technology and tourism definitely in the 100 days honorable prime minister narendra modi is going to bring a great transformation for the agriculture and farmers because that requires a complete concentration in the country, which was the vision of the Mahatma Gandhi also. Many people tried to say they know Mahatma Gandhi's principle, but never came into the government policy. But let me tell you, Honorable Prime Minister follows the Mahatma Gandhi in letter and spirit. You know the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Today, it was the vision of the uh, Mahatma Gandhi. He said freedom, uh, sanitation, cleanliness is more important than freedom. And that powerful statement has now become reality in the 150th birthday celebration of Mahatma Gandhi. I think Mahatma Gandhi's soul will be at rest and peaceful now because of the vision being carried out. Rural development, entrepreneurship, tourism. Let me tell you, my dear friends, if you, India concentrates only on tourism, tourism entrepreneurship alone, you can sit and earn. In Tamil Nadu, let me give an example. State of Tamil Nadu, 55,000 temples are there, my dear friends. And you will not find certain temples thousand years, two thousand years uh, old in many parts of India. That itself is celebrated. Go to Rajarajara temple, Bradishara temple. Look at the marvelous architect what South India has. Go to Kanjipuram. One day is not enough to explore. Go to Kumbhamana. Go to Kumbhamana, the spiritual of today. So, 55,000 temples are there. Temple tourism, hospitality tourism, cultural tourism is a great idea which will blossom in the days to come. So this is the agenda of the Honorable Prime Minister. I am very thankful for this opportunity. Before I end, I was given an opportunity to meet one of our devotee in SCZ Tamra, Mr. Dinesh Patelji. I asked Dinesh Patelji two questions. I will not keep quiet wherever I go. And I asked two questions. Dinesh Patelji, why did you establish your factory in Tamra, SCZ? And uh, he said, our Swaminarayan ji has come here in his travel in those times. Wherever we travel, we try to establish something for the people. And I found this place as a calling for me. And he told a story which is very inspiring. And the Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2004 when he was a chief minister, he was conducting vibrant Gujarat project. Our Dinesh Patel ji went there from Chennai and he Prime Minister, you see now, everybody will say I met the Prime Minister, he was close to me. Look at the way, yeah, like a grace of a Guru, right? So sometimes you will not have met His Holiness uh, Pramukh Swamiji, but the grace itself will make you feel connected, right? Just that way, many ministers will say in, around the country that I met Honorable Prime Minister, he hold my hand and said, how much you are going to invest? Please understand my dear friends, if somebody who was a family, who is a son in the politics, these questions will make sense. Please understand. He has nothing. He is a karma yogi. And he is holding somebody's hand from Chennai. Dinesh Patanji was come. He is asking how much will you invest in Gujarat? You have invested in Chennai, no? Think, Dinesh Patanji, this question. To Tata, what question you will ask? In America, what questions you will ask? 
to jab in japanese what questions he asks to japanese prime minister he takes to sabarmati ashram and in sabarmati ashram you know well what is their photograph of gandhi ji prayer place he takes everywhere and you know what he is speak going after going he comes to the car leaves him and he goes this is a new diplomatic mission this is a new diplomatic mission he also made to wear indian dress to the japanese uh, prime minister and you know what did he say at the end normally you are gujaratis you should know so how to do business let's see yes or no can we start something new mous they can look at bringing new japanese uh, companies to gujarat or uttar pradesh or tamil nadu or bangalore there are good places uh, this way you will inspire and because of him investments is going to happen and dinesh patel ji after once modi hold his hand he went to our akshardham and asked vast the interest our pramukh swami ji said once i went to a village where i did a satsang that village you go and put up a factory in 2004 or 2005 13 years later now it is one of the state of art perfume factory in that village in that village where our pramukh swami is grace was there as a satsang can you imagine the heart of our swami ji pramukh swami ji he had that in mind here is a businessman modi ji asked him and he is going on asking as a businessman he did not take his decision he took the decision of the guru's decision he went and asked the Uh, so Swam- swami ji and he says in put up the factory there today in that village if people are getting one square meal per day or living happily it is because of this factory this is exactly a mission every hindu should understand please understand my dear friends if a person is in un- with hunger you cannot preach religion ramakrishna paramahansa said if a person is in hunger don't preach religion you know what will happen first feed him So on this problem, automatically it will be in our religion. This exactly is the message which Pramukh Swami Ji inspired our Dinesh Patel Ji, and is now having a state of art factory there. One model. So I want you to understand. You are here to serve the world. Love all, serve all is the vision of our uh, Pramukh Swami Ji, and very important ethics. Pramukh Swami Ji says. knowledge cannot be bad from cannot be had from books alone association with the holy sadhu is a must association with the holy sadhu is a must if by mere reading one could become a doctor why do children have to go to school to obtain spiritual knowledge you will have to associate with the sadhu for what to remain in the dharmic tradition this is the message and only one thing in the joy of others lies ours this mission should be in your mind i'm sure i will not rest my uh, sessions i'll keep on asking swami ji and i will ask him and i'll keep on coming to back from the temple to update about what modi honorable prime minister narendra modi is doing and i will ensure you people become the brand ambassador for him empower every person around you with the policies he brings first bare minimum start telling nine ten stories about modi ji to your kids yeah about the transformation is bringing so these kids will go and say swachh bharat don't put the lace packet they will teach you one day i went to a school for kid is running and coming anna don't put the cover there swachh bharat put that in the dustbin then i said okay okay sorry who told narendra modi ji okay this is the impact that we need to create the future lies in the youngsters and the kids of our country children are the greatest assets of the humanity we have to empower them we have to see them they are the light in the in before our eyes and i am sure this transformation will not stop modi ji is uh, is an ajata chatru modi ji will transform the country india today is about 2.5 trillion dollar economy 2030 india will become 5 trillion dollar economy 2041 definitely India will overtake China, and there is a reports already coming in from political pundits that this government will remain for next 30 years. And and you know, a system is very clear. It is not one time one time event. After Modi ji, there are many inspired Modi. Give the country to me. I will also run like Modi ji. Don't think I will become prime minister. All right. So don't even think of the prime minister. I am just saying. it will happen because there are people inspired through him 
this model of development who are ready to take up the country and run it. So there is no depth of leaders anymore. There is an inspired leader to follow. I am sure this transformation is happening. And I am thankful to uh, so, uh, BAPS Swaminarayan Temple, uh, BAPS Swaminarayan Temple, not only transform Narendra Modi ji, BAPS Swaminarayan Temple transform Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, BAPS Swaminarayan Temple has transform APJ Abdul Kalam, the people president. You should read the book Transcendence with Pramukh Swami ji. Uh, we can do a session about it also. Amount of spiritual power he has got from our uh, His Holiness Pramukh Swamiji definitely has to be read. You know in what religion Abdul Epe Jabalman was born, but where he got the spiritual experience. That is India. This is a model should be shown around the world, and that group should be a model to global harmony. Thanks a lot. I definitely will come back and do sessions on various transformations that the Honorable Prime Minister is bringing. If you have questions, I will take up. If time is up, we will close the session. Water shortage, yeah. Right. Sir, so water shortage, this I thought, definitely I know this question will come. Water shortage is not the role of the Prime Minister alone. State government has to take up an active role. Because today, max max what the government can do, they can allot the fund. If the government is allotting the fund, the state government has to empower the people with the water facility. And you don't have groundwater. Now where do you bring the water from? Can you go to the sea and do desalination? Population is very high. Don't even compare the desalination project of uh, desalination project with Israel. Israel population is less. Technology is there. So desalination cannot be done. If you see the economics of desalination, cost is more than the benefit. So how do we do it? The only solution that is available, immediate solution is not available. As of now, you have to manage your tankers run by local people. You know who is running the tankers. I don't want to discuss all those things. Okay? You know who is running. And uh, certain areas, Systematically, the government itself ensures that water is not going, so that you will buy from the water tankers. That money will go to certain corrupt politicians. So, the only solution is interlinking of rivers. Interlinking of rivers is not connecting Ganga to Pala. Don't even imagine that. There will be a great river flowing from Ganga. People will say ecology problem. And you will know who will make an ecology problem. I don't want to name all those people. And they will create all this uh, thing. For that, land acquisition bill has to pass. To do anything on land, land acquisition bill, which seems to be possible now, because constitution is there in the hand. You know why Prime Minister Modi went and bowed before the constitution of India? Last time he did not bow. But why did he bow before this time? There is an agenda. And I don't want to discuss right now. There is a reason why he is doing. There is a lot of changes that is required in the constitution right now. And this opportunity is a rare opportunity. Majority government. And I'm sure you will do it. So this is a permanent solution, sir. But sharing of waters is a very important thing between the states. Tamil Nadu has to be fed with the water from abundant water from Karnataka, abundant water from Kerala, and the people have to work with harmony. Why people are not fighting for water? You know, people who are on the agenda of dividing the nation will not start this because if you start water problem as a problem, then everybody will insist on uniting the nation. Can you understand? So they will not open this issue. That is the reason it is not being burned as an issue. But as a citizen, as of now, we have to manage with the tank water only. Second thing you can do, pray to God. Rain will come. Who knows, tomorrow rain will come at 12 o'clock. That is what we should pray. We can do omam and check uh, spiritual energies to pray. Collectively, if you pray, the rain will come is the understanding. Entire south is suffering, sir. And takes out the suffering. And I think this uh, it should be the lesson for the people. And it's also a lesson for the government to bring the interlinking of project as important. Somalia, go and check the videos. How people are fighting for one drop of water. <coughs> Last one, they will not do, sir. They are not ready to do. Because, you know, so you need to have bold leaders like Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi to bring the change. He's there as a Prime Minister. Like him, we need Chief Ministers, Panjai leaders, Councillors, ward members. Only then India can transform. That's a rare opportunity, but things will change the days to come. Let's see what is the solution. Now, is there a solution for water problem you have? Anybody has? You tell me now. Sir, so water harvesting only. Water, water harvesting only rain should come. No, lot of problems are in India. They are breaking all the mountains, ranges. Right. Those are 
will on the basis of total finishing of the Correct. Please and all they are cutting. Correct. Many things will be Right. They are not. Just an information, sir. How many lakes are there in Chennai? What happened to those lakes? Lot of. Lot of lakes. What happened to those lakes? You know something? There is a there was a king. There was a king in Tanjavur. He brought 365 lakes. You go and read about it. Probably if I send the literature to Swamiji. You know why 365 lakes? Every day he will go and take bath in a lake. So king is coming to take bath. So the people will clean it, keep it clean. The administrators of the king will keep it clean. I will send you the exact location. One of my good friend was discussing, I will send you that exact location. 365 days you go and take bath, the water is ensured. Water harvesting is happening. If one lake also no water, then you will question why no water. So, it is a required change at that point of time. Now the question is, what happened to those lakes here in Chennai? You know what happened? People give left, right, center approval, constructed apartment. When flood comes also, water comes up. Now many people are praying, rain should come. Heavy rain should not come. <laughs> Heavy rain should not come. If you come full of water, 15 feet. And many people are paying. Rain should come. No storm should come. Because I cannot uh, move anywhere. My job will be okay. IT companies are paying. No, no, uh, no storm should come with the, uh, with the heavy rains. Because my work will stop to US. Okay? So, many people are praying in different way. When the entire people pray for one reason, then rain will come. The God is waiting for that only. I think. Right? So, we should find out a solution for that. No best solution available as of now, except using a tank water. The quality of water is bad. Sir, you can use grey water also. Which one? Grey water. Which are using in our home. Uh -huh. That can be used by Use. everybody. Yeah. But they are not doing in simple way. Correct. What the single family is doing like. Right. They are just allowing it to go base. Go base. First thing in India. Net call away. Yeah, sir, correct. He reminded me. Yeah, he reminded me. Yeah, he reminded me. <coughs> Honorable uh, Minister, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, on 24th, on the instruction of the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, tweeted about uh, the water from backwaters of Godavari and Krishna being released to Tamil Nadu, but how many people it can serve? In Chennai, it is about 1.2 crore people, right? And uh, entire Tamil Nadu is 8.2 crore. Coimbatore, no groundwater. So I think it's a mass movement. It's just not the responsibility of the people. The elections in 2024 will be fought on water. I ensured I gave you this much water. This will be the talk. Because water is a very important thing. Interlinking of the river is the only solution, permanent, but as of now we should see what other solutions can be brought in. Israel is using new water to right. bring it water. Yeah. But we, we don't have that. Any other questions? Okay, alright, the session is over. Women, any questions are there? No yeah. questions? No questions. No questions. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I. Uh, Dedicate the session to the Swami uh, Temple and any questions are there, I'll take it off the record. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Swamiji. Thanks a lot. Thank you for this opportunity.